Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and of course turn on that notification bell para naman updated ka sa lahat ng mga bago kong uploads. By the way, my name is Raymond, your Pinoyers here with me. Okay guys, before I begin, I'd like to thank you all for all your love and support to this channel. Guys, 1,000 plus subscribers na kayo and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And by the way, guys, if you wanted to ask me something, follow my Facebook page, Nurse Raymond123. Kasi talaga ako nag-reply. Please, not on my personal Facebook. Kasi minsan, napupunta lang siya sa spam messages. Hindi ko siya nababasa. Okay? And don't you worry, guys. I am very responsive to any of your questions or to your queries. Okay? Okay, guys. Just to let you know, I am already one year here in Ireland. Ang bilis ng panahon, guys. Backstory muna tayo guys. I arrived here October 10, 2019. And you know what? Since then, it was a roller coaster ride. Dami kong pinagtaanan, and dami mga challenges. But aside from that, may mga happy moments din naman. And to tell you frankly guys, before I came here, I was kind of unsure kung tama ba yung decision kong lumipat from Saudi Arabia. Kasi nga, number one, yung standards of living dito ay napakataas. So, inisip ko makakalipot ba ako dito. Inisip ko kung... Um, so sustain my needs in family ko or whatever. But you know what? This country has been very good to me so far. So I am grateful. So again, guys, since one year na ako dito sa Ireland, I was thinking to make a vlog like this just to share with you my thoughts, my discoveries, and of course, my learning throughout the year. I say one year. One year is one year, diba? And since this is Europe, this is really different to what I'm used to, especially as a practice, sa mga taong na kakasalabuha ko, and to all many other aspects. So let me share with you my thoughts, okay? Let me talk about work-wise. Well, dito sa Ireland, guys, maraming Filipino. Kahit sang kalumingan, actually, may makikita ka one or two Filipinos, okay? And uh, sa mga hospital, I am pretty sure, not only in our hospital, marami din mga Filipinos. And you know what, guys? Not all kabayans are really approachable. You know what I mean. But there are some that will really make you feel that you are welcome. And of course, will teach you everything, you know, that you need to know pagdating mo dito sa Ireland at pagpasok mo sa unit na pagtatrabawan mo. And since this is a diverse country, guys, I learned to do with different nationalities. So mga nurses from, from different parts of Europe and of course, mga Irish, Indians, and many other nationalities. And you know what? I can tell you that the work ethics of the Filipinos are really exceptional, guys. Hindi naman dahil bias ako, no? Pero you will really see how us Filipinos work in a clinical setting. I also discovered here in Ireland, guys, that the nursing standards and also some practices here are really traditional. Marami mga nursing practice that we are used to that are not being practiced here in Ireland. Kasi tayo kasi na... Filipinos, yung nursing standards natin, very Americanized. Dito kasi, European standards ang pinapractice. And I noticed that patient comfort is the priority. So if the patient refused because they are not comfortable with the management, it will be followed. And if you were a nurse who came from Saudi Arabia just like me, na sanay na hawakan ng mga lalaki mga pasyente, but here, any gender, hahawangan mo, okay? Female, male, members of LGBT, lahat ng pasyente. No one I'm actually hesitant ako kasi, hello, babae pa siyente, baka ayaw niya. But you know what here, they don't mind. And the last tip that I can give you guys work-wise is that choose your friends. Hindi dahil mabait siya sa iyo no una, you have to deal with them or you have to befriend with them, okay? Sometimes being civil is good enough. Ang mahirap lang kasi yung parang utang na loob na tinatawag, di ba? That they did something good to you and then they're expecting something in return. Ayoko na yun. Okay, let's talk about the people here in Ireland. Well, Irish in general are very nice people. They don't mind your business for as long as you are not stepping in anyone's feet. Saka napansin ko dito very civil sila to each other. Maybe from the cultural upbringing din nila. Kasi alam nyo, during lunch or break, they're not sharing food. Unlike Filipinos, kapag break time na, latag na lahat ng mga baon. But sila, they are not really used to that. They are not sharing their food, their baon to, to anyone else. And I confirmed that with one of my co-workers because during school days ng mga bata pala dito, the food that they have or the food that they will eat are being prepared by their parents because they want to make sure that the food that their children will eat is hypoallergenic, specific sa kanilang diet or anything. And of course, yung food poisoning then gusto nilang iwasan. So, ganun pala. So as I mentioned, generally, Ireland is very peaceful. 
uh, the people here are very nice but of course there are still a number of bad people okay so wala mo iwasan din especially mga kumpol ng mga kabataan because they are somewhat bullied din but I haven't experienced it pero sinabi na sa akin ng mga kakilala ko na iwasan huwag din natin kakalimutan guys yung accent well to tell you guys yung accent ng mga Irish are different so kung saan sila galing county iba din accent so medyo mag adjust ka talaga and of course they have a lot of slangs expressions words that we are not familiar to so kailangan pag-aralan din natin yun so gagawa ko ng vlog about that soon okay but in general they are very understanding guys because maybe they are used to having a different nationalities in one place kaya alam na nila kapag medyo hindi mo naintindihan and just tell them that can you just say it again and can just say it slower they will really understand now pagdating naman sa sweldo guys savings and expenses just to tell you guys mas marami pa ako naipon dito compared to when i was working in saudi arabia with the competitive salary despite high cost of living i am still able to provide for my family and of course save money for for the future maybe because i was able to uh, manage my own finances here and of course number one ko natutunan is never convert the money that you have here is not the money that you will spend in the Philippines. So, kailangan, kailangan makisabay ka sa takbo ng situation dito sa Ireland. I learned to use my finances only for basic needs. But of course, I'm able to indulge once in a while. Dito sa Ireland kasi, you have full control of your money, your finances, your salary. Because you can live anywhere you want and how you want it, you know? So, kung mas matipid ka, pupunta ko sa mga sharing na apartments. Kung hindi naman, kung gusto mo ng privacy, ng comfort, of course, you will go to one bedroom apartment or studio apartment. Pero mapapagastas ka ng konti. At syempre, nabanggit ko sa inyo before guys, yung power of card. Kasi hindi masyadong uso dito yung mga um, cash. Pero I'm not saying na walang gumagamit ng cash. No? Pero it is really a preferred way of transaction sa mga tellers, sa mga stalls, yung, yung card payment. And napansin ko lahat ng mga stalls dito have their card reader which is really good. So yun. So from big wallet that I'm used to uh, bring every time, I am using now a small wallet. I'll show you. Ito siya. Small wallet lang. Cards. Tapos some IDs. That's it. Pagdating naman sa travel guys, there's a lot of places here in Ireland that you can visit. Okay? And I'm just so blessed kasi may mga kaibigan ako, may mga co-work ako na nag sa akin na umalis palagi. And here in Ireland guys, they're into walking, trekking, and some other physical activities. Dito sa Ireland, there are a lot of parks, okay? And sa mga parks, may mga fitness equipment na naka-built-in doon. And of course, playground for the kids. And of course, mamimesmerize ka din sa ganda ng mga puno, ng green grass, and all that. So, nakaka-excite guys. At syempre, kung bago ka naman dito, matutuwa ka talaga sa bus system nila. Yung bus system nila dito are very, very good. Linked yung mga buses to each other. Kaya, madali ka mga kapunta sa mga lugar na gusto mong puntahan na reachable ng mga buses. It is quite expensive though kasi yung maximum na babayaran mo kapag more than 13 stations would be 2.5 euros. So that's roughly about uh, 130 pesos per ride. One way lang yun guys. But it's okay. It's fun. To ride. Now let's talk about the weather. As you all know guys, Dito sa Ireland, we are experiencing four seasons. Okay? Pero sabi ko nga, in one day, it is very unpredictable. Maganda yung sikat ng araw in the morning, tapos biglang uulan, tapos magiging masikat na naman. It will become windy. Kaya lagi ka dapat handa. So, lagi akong may payo. But you know what? The people here, they don't usually use umbrella. Lalo na kung umuulan. Unless sobrang maulan. Okay? Pero kung mga drizzle Jersey lang, guys, they're not into umbrellas, okay? Kaya uso dito yung mga hoodies and yung mga water-resistant na jackets and all that. Kasi nga, kapag umuulan, and of course, dahil four seasons, guys, napakasarap lang kasi I was just dreaming about this and now it's a reality, you know, na na-experience ko na yung four seasons and it's just really like magical. Alam mo yun, kapag nagbabago ng season and all that, makikita mo. Ngayon kasi autumn na dito, guys. So lahat ng leaves ng mga trees nag-start na mag uh, magbagsakan. So it's really it's really good. It's just so magical. Pagdating man sa food, guys, we have wide ranges of food you can choose from, okay? And different cuisines then from different countries. Dito, guys, napansin ko, mahilig sila sa Chinese food, yung mga snack box na tinatawag. So doon may may chips, chicken, and uh, bell peppers, onions, etc. 
And napat sila na pakaalat <laughs> ng mga snack box nila. Kaya minsan kapag nag-order ako nun online, eh hindi ko din masyado naubos. And sa grocery stores guys, marami din doon mga ready to eat, ready to bake, and of course food delivery is lit. And since nakakain na tayo guys, pag-usapan naman natin ng toilet. <laughs> Dito guys, walang bidet, okay? So, yun ang unang-una yung paghandaan. Magdala kayo ng tabo, okay? Yan yung una kong nilabas na item sa bagahe ko when I arrived here. Kasi nga, walang bidet. Dito guys, tissue-tissue lang, okay? If you want to be really clean down there, use your tabo, bring your tabo. And lastly guys, I just wanted to mention that Ireland really values the balance between work and of course your social life. Kasi dito, since marami kang off, eh, you can do anything. Yung ibang mga tao nga dito, they start to do gardening. Yan, alam niya yung magtatanim sila ng mga fruit-bearing uh, plants, etc. At ako naman ito, YouTube. And I just realized that it is not always about the money. Like for example, itong pag-start ko ng YouTube, guys, I'm not really after the monetization and all that. Bonus lang yun sa akin. And to be honest with you guys, I had this thought of stopping making videos kasi inisip ko, oops, mukhang tama naman na to. But you know what? Whenever I receive messages and comments about the inspiration that this channel is bringing to, to them, you know, it's just keeping me going. So, yun lang. Tingnan natin kung gansan tayo abutin. <laughs> but if you're going to ask me about my future plans here in Ireland, well, we are planning to stay here longer, especially that my family will be here soon. But our aim here is to save and of course to have a comfortable life. So I think that's about it guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And by the way, for those applicants who started their application using the new platform of NMBI, you my NMBI, please don't hesitate to comment, to respond back sa mga comments sa mga videos ko about it, asking about the process and all that. Kasi to be honest with you, this is a new process. I haven't dealt with this, but I'm trying to help, okay? And of course, refer lang kayo sa FNI, sa Filipino Nurses in Ireland. If you want to be a member of that Facebook page, just follow their Facebook and then just answer some screening questions tapos ililet in naman kayo. Tulungan lang tayo dito guys, okay? And once again guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course, follow my Facebook page, Nurse Raymond 123 Till my next video guys, bye!